Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're doing one of my favorite keyboards. Um, this is a newer edition. Uh, this is truly a keyboard build. I don't know why I tried to surprise when obviously the thumbnail has already shown you what keyboard we're doing, so <laughs> maybe I should rethink my intro. Um, anyway, today we are doing Lilith from KBD Craft. This is the latest revision of a very interesting project. Um, I will be doing a video shortly after. Uh, they've uh, shot out a new firmware uh, for all of their um, previous kits, the Atom kits, uh, as well as the uh, numpad uh, that you can combine into one or keep it as separate. And I have to do a video showing you guys i mean it's a pretty simple process but in case you know you want i mean updating firmware can always be something scary especially when it's the bias on your computer but um it's a simple process i'll walk you guys through it so i should be doing that one shortly after doing this one but today we're going to be building the new lilith which um i have been excited to take a look at and thanks to boy from kbd craft for sending it out so let's go ahead and open up this box and see what goodies we've got inside all right so here we are with the box for the 003 lilith i think it's been 001 002 and this one's 003 um so this is a five and a half degree he's he really does take feedback i mean i know he's asked me questions he's gone on budget keep sub and asked questions um he listens to the feedback that people were giving him and one of the things i fixed it with just putting some extra feet on mine because it was flat but for using it that did it enough but now we have a five and a half degree 60 percent wired little keyboard so as you can see the case is definitely going to be different from the uh, previous Adam kit. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, break the seal and get to building. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of interesting things, some new things. Well, um, you're always gonna get your own action figure, your own Lego guy in each one of the Adams. And I actually, let me see, I keep my guys. Oops. I keep my guys uh, nearby. They keep me company on all keyboard builds. They're uh, they're the I call them my wizards, so that I don't break any uh, hot swap sockets. And so far, they've been doing their job quite well. So now looks like we'll be having a new little friend to add to the buddy collection. here a nice safe spot all right so first is first looks like we've got some new switches oh wow all right so these are some pre-lubricated the uh they're still called the s2 so maybe they still are the s2 and they've just changed the color of the housing to match the color here but let me take a look don't eat the silica gel all right, I think I've got, yeah, I've got an S2 engine right here, I believe. So it's a really nice, um, no ping, light linear. It's almost like a red, but it's long pull. I think it, this one has 3.8. I, I don't recall off the bat. This one says that it has, yeah, 3.8. So. It's a 36 gram, 3.8, and it's got a two-stage spring. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think they're the same, except uh, we just got a, um, a different color housing. So that's cool. Gonna have some new pieces. Um, got bag 
A. Huh. Not sure if this is for the guy or not. Let me just put him to the side. Uh, we've got our stabbies, stabilizers, and let's see. They come pre built. Oh no, they're dry. Alright, well, that's not a problem. We can always lubricate them. Last ones came lubricated, the first ones didn't. So, but they came with a little uh, lubrication pouch. Here is our uh, quill cable. Um, I actually still have <laughs> the red cable. Oh, it's the same one. That's what I'm using on this workstation right now. I'd show you, but. I, I, a lot of people actually are like, oh, I really like the cable. It's <laughs> it's skinny and it's red, but it's just it it just works. And you know, having that coil gives you the extension. I know it's not a uh, aviator cable, but I like it. <laughs> All right, this is S. And we have our key caps. So these are, I call, I guess they're called Kimoji Adam Lilith Seal Nerve. Oh no, those are different ones. So this is Lilith, okay, but it's um, double shot PBT OEM profile. All right. So this looks like the Alphas. No, Kimoji Seal. Or hello, Lilith. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm going to have to get this straight. So let's put keycaps over here. Zero seven zero zero one keycap set designed for keyboards with MX style switches. All right. So this goes up to 108. So we got a full keycap set here. Yeah. I, I got to dig that. If ever we want to swap them out, you know, put a different keycap set on here, we at least can use this on something else. And here is half of the base, and there's the other half of the base. Alright. Oh, okay, so I think this is the stand. Because it does actually have a keyboard stand. Uh, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, zero, four. Now this one doesn't have, no, it doesn't have the long pieces, so. Oh, here it is. That's what the S is for. So, the A and B, for the case, I still don't know if this is for the case or not. Or is it a little scene for my new gang member? <laughs> my keyboard gang member. So this is the cable. In case you're going to use the um, the numpad, you want to integrate it. Instead of using two USBs, this will connect it uh, internally. So depending on how you build out the case. Because that's that's one of the cool things about it. You can put it on your... You, know, you can make it a southpaw or a standard numpad. And attach it to what is a very useful uh, 64 key 60 percent so we got a key cap puller we got the JST cable which I'm gonna keep in here we've got uh, this is the um, layer between the plate and the PCB and these are the gaskets and these are the feet all right so thankfully I have some <laughs> some lubrication so it'll be fine yeah it usually comes in a cute little envelope um, I don't know how mine got mixed, but boy, he probably packed mine and, and forgot or figured I already had some. Here we have what is at the heart of the, um, the, well, today the Lilith, uh, I, I keep going to call it Adam, but it is a, well, I did say Adam on here, so technically I'm right. It's an Adam Lilith. I don't know. Um, south facing 64 key. 60 percent 
Uh, the USB is not attached with the daughter board, but because of the way that it's built, it's got plenty of room, so you don't have to worry about you know bending any cables. And it is uh, QMK, VIA, and VIO compatible, which is awesome. And for the price, I mean, honestly, I don't think this could be beat. So let's go ahead. We'll, uh, Usually I like to go ahead and build out the core first um, because that way, you know, when we get to that spot, we can just drop it in. We don't have to stop what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So let me put all of this, put the switches and the key caps aside. We're going to put Legos back in the box. We need the stabbies. And yeah, we won't need these until we're at the case. Don't need the cable. And I don't need the instructions for this. So. This is always fun. I don't know why, but I end up keeping these. I've got a couple of baggies of these. Um, you just go through and punch them out as they're not needed. But some for some reason in my head, I think I'm going to um, need these for something. Who knows? Maybe I will. But it's like that, that old connector cable you find for... A device you know old fire wire cable and you're like ah i don't need this and you throw it away and then a couple of days later somebody comes over with a fire wire camcorder hey man can you help me i need to get some stuff off this camera and i don't have this fire wire cable i just threw mine away <laughs> it's just the the way life seems to work out sometimes huh all right so there is our layer for between the plate and the PCB. Let's get the lubrication out. And this, and this goes like this. All right, yes, this could be done much better with a paintbrush, but um, these are good stabilizers, and this usually, it's it's enough. It's not too much. Um, anything more would make it mushy. But these, or at least I've been doing it like this, and it works for me. So call it the lazy, bad mark way. <laughs> um, as long as you don't get too much past the, I mean, you want it on the elbow, because that's where it's touching the plastic. So we always look for where that groove is, and that's where we want to insert the stabilizers in. Oh, not in too far. Clip in, clip in. These are very, the tolerances are very, very good on these because they are very well attached. Now the PCB does have um, the ability for screw in stabilizers. I'm not sure if the plate will fit it, but one of these, they, next time I come back to this, because I, I really want to do the pet mod on here. Um, they sound great already stock, but I want to see what it sounds like with the pet mod, maybe even Tempest, but I'll see what we can do about getting screw on stabilizers on there, if we can get them to work. Uh, I, I, I know they'll fit, I just don't know if they'll fit through the plate. All right, once we have these in, I always find it a good idea to lock these in place by pushing out this lock tab over the plate that just ensures they're not going to pop up and they're on there as tight as possible obviously don't push too hard or you'll break the tab just want to push it over so that it's on top of the plate 
So now we have those attached. Go ahead and pull out the PCB. Line up the PCB plate foam. And then line up the plate. Now it's time for the switches. All right, so we're going to use the switches as anchors here. Um, basically, the switches will hold everything together. The first few switches, you'll want it to be as careful as possible. Um, always best to support the back with a socket. I like to go middle and then the corners and then fill it in from there. But this has a really nice uh, PC plate that makes it very easy to get all of these in. Again, this is just to, the first few ones are to ensure that you've got everything lined up. So now you can just go and do the rest of them. And as you see, I am resting my finger on the back of the socket, each socket as I go along. That way I don't take any chances on having the switch actually push out the socket. Yeah, the socket is attached, but it's not like it's got Superman strength on there. It's really just only attached with solder. That's just how they're made. But they've gotten much better over the years, I must say. But it's just always, always best to be safe. And there we go. We have the core completely built. Um, that's how they refer to it in the manual. Uh, it's actually nice and hefty, um, especially because of that pad. We also have one spare switch, which is always nice, just in case something goes wrong. All right, I'm going to set that aside, and we are going to get started. Before the keys, I actually, I'm thinking maybe I should just go ahead and do the stand real quick. All right, so let's do the stand first. The stand seems pretty simple, and we'll just have it ready to go. Was one of these part of it? It looks like it. Huh. Yeah, I was wondering because it usually only has two pieces for the base. The big one and the little one. It had two little ones, so I've got to believe that this is it. So we've got, not telling me the blocks, but I can count. These are the eights on one side. All right, so the red blocks are basically just offset one. And it almost looks like a little red cross. This is where your keyboard's safe. <laughs> and then we top them off once we've built the cross so that you don't see the connectors anymore. And it appears that that's what we do on the other side as well with the white ones. So it looks like, let me see, this one goes here. All right, so there is our keyboard stand. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside. Put you back in. Now we got the kit. A little bit this aside, so I got more room. Obviously, these two pieces go together. I think bag A is finishing the pieces for the top, so let's hope. I find it easier to follow the instructions and just get these set aside. All right, um, you just gotta kinda have to pay attention. Uh, my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, so. Um, I have to look for the little separations to see which pieces are going where. So I guess go ahead and open both bags and we'll be safe. It's 
ready to go to step seven. Now oh, it's time for the gaskets. There they are. All right, they're very similar to um, the uh, other gaskets, except they're paper backed because they're adhesive. So, actually, just so you can see with one, you just punch out the hole. And it's basically a, a Lego gasket, <laughs> as it's in the shape of a Lego. And that's how it goes on. So just to be quick, you can just go through and punch them out. All right, so it's time to load the gaskets on here. And so that's when we peel the backing off. Have it to the nails. And then we lay them. So it's going to go on this side. Basically, line them up with the uh, Legos and pop them in. All right, there are no extra gaskets, so make sure that um, you know you don't tear them and you get them on there. Nice. I have not at any point, but I mean, I'm, anything's possible. So just something to, as a note, I can see that we actually do have that angle because the uh, gaskets down here are a step below, or I guess you could say a Lego piece below. the spots where the gas is going to set and let's see why those hooks are that way so they fit into the groove so the PC plate and the gas that's give us pretty decent flex. Alright, so now we've put the core in and added those extra pieces. Now it's time to top her off. So after going around the edges, making sure that everything is well tightened and pushed down, it's time to go ahead and install the rubber feet in the four corners horizontally. I don't, I, they just, these keyboards stop sound really good like <laughs> just better than I don't know I almost think that it that I, it should require a little work to sound this good but I mean some mods or something but I'm just since the first build of these I'm just I, I, I was honestly I was like oh I'm not expecting you know it to sound amazing or even close to it because it's a great experience building it you know probably focused a lot and <laughs> I had my expectations set that they focused more on the Lego piece than they did on the actual keyboard, but then <laughs> I ate my words because um, it's it's a great sound on the keyboard and you know especially me being Linux user and Mac users I'm I'm sure out there feel the same way being able to you know not only well if you want to get 
a really low level, you can go down and build yourself, you know, or modify your QMK firmware file, build your own, or you can just use it via over any um, Chrome-based web browser. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is nice. So, all right, next up, well, let's see what this says. All right, this, yeah, it just talks about um, the layouts, but obviously we're dealing with, dealing with an ANSI, and it uh, shows you the control and vial. So I'm gonna go with the uh, purple space bar. We got a full set of keys, which is they're they're an interesting double shot. I mean, they're only top double shot, but I I love the feel of these keys. I mean, you can tell they're PBT. And here we are with the Lilith and we're doing the peace face. There's actually a few different, um, I guess, emotions that you can do using the two different colored uh, keycaps, the purple and the, the cream or the white or off-white. Greedy, rage, agreeable, wink, wink. So that's actually, <laughs> I think it's cute. I think it's cute and it's creative. And... Um, what I'm figuring that these are for, you can put them away, or you can come bring your Keeb gang to come and hang out with you while you do some work. Oh. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I feel like a kid again when when I build these. So, uh, excuse my my uh, my childlike wonder about this. I know it's just some pieces of plastic together, but it brings me joy, and it sounds so nice. I I am gonna mod it. I know I've been saying that about the rest of them. Every time I go. I pick it up and I'm like, it sounds so good already. Let me mod something that needs some modding. I <laughs> just, uh, I, um, yeah, it sounds really nice stock. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of Lilith. Keep an eye out if you have any of the existing Atom keyboards, if you need any help with the firmware, I'm going to be doing that, um, obviously over Windows. Uh, just record doing a screen recording and a voiceover. So if you guys need some help with that, that'll be out shortly But I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with the stock sound test of the Adam Lily now with a 5.5 degree angle So don't have to prop it up or add extra pieces down there because it's at a pretty good angle It's gonna work nicely with a rest rest uh, Yeah Perfect so much better I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the other ones and it worked fine with the, with adding some pieces and basically putting it in an angle, but now this one just sitting on its own. All right, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build it as much as I enjoyed building it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments below. I do my best to answer each and every comment, at least the ones that make sense. Some of them, I try. Um, so until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.